Coming to you live here from the L P W Studios, we proudly present Flashpoint with your host with the most, Lupo. Welcome, 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 everyone. It truly means a lot. Thank you all for being a part of this. We never thought we would get the second episode, but let's get down to it. The LPW rankings as of TakeOver 12 has your superior champion, KJ, on top, following by Chris Iron Bear Hudson, following King Spade Santos, Christian Merciless, and Tobias Gates, who we'll hear from tonight. But for my first guest, not only is he a returning guest, but a former champ, a pillar in the LPW locker room. Put your hands together for the one, the only, Rodney Merciless. <laughs> if we can get him on the line. I, I love when we do these things. I, I always forget that we're not in, in Gorilla, and it's just more a phone call away. Can we get him on the line, please? Meanwhile, you guys enjoy the obviously licensed Bon Jovi that we're going to have to pay for after this. <laughs> Is he on? Thanks for having there, me on the show, Luke. There he goes. Um, it's cool. Hey, how's I'm it going? i to be back, and I'm ready to answer whatever questions you've got for me. Okay, cool. Right, right off the bat, uh, Ronnie, it's good to have you back. Uh, I want to ask you, how are you feeling now that it's my understanding you were assaulted at that god-awful prestigious wrestling yes, event? Yes, I know that I was assaulted at a PWGP event. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, um, I was making my way to the ring to fight Tommy White in mm -hmm. a uh, King of the Ring qualifying tournament. Yeah. Never made it to the ring. I was attacked from above, I guess you can say, uh, in the rafters and backstage. I don't know who the hell thought it was a good idea letting someone up there, but that's besides the point. Um, <laughs> doctors have said that I have suffered a concussion and a few broken ribs. Wait, but what? Whoa, I whoa, be whoa, well whoa, on my whoa! Way to being healthy. Are you sure? As uh, goes have... to take over thirteen. I know this is probably going to be another one of your questions, but yeah, I have been ruled out and not medically cleared for. The LPW Tag Team Championship match. Oh. I wish I could compete, but the doctors won't let me. As they shouldn't. Now, I know that there has to be a match for these tag team titles. And I yep. know Christian is going to try to fight his damnedest. And I know that he could do it on his own, but Handicap. there has to be somebody else that steps in. <laughs> I'm not going to be the person that takes this opportunity away from him. Agreed. And Looking that's back, big of you. I think I have the perfect guy that can tag with my brother. What do you have in mind? And y'all have seen me tag with him before. Well, we certainly are sad to hear the news about your medical clearance, but like you mentioned, the show must go on. You gave the audience a bit of a hint as to who this may be. Are you willing to let everyone at home just know who's gonna be taking your place at well, takeover 13 ruin a surprise Lupo, but i <laughs> guess well, if i have I, to tell you who it's you, gonna you be do. and i know that he'll be glad to get back into the ring well let, let us know My day one tag team partner uh-huh jordan f merciless <laughs> oh nice so, i can guarantee yeah there will be no Tag Team Champions in the Merciless Family. And that's a bold bet. Sadly, I won't be there in attendance to see my brother succeed in battle, but I'll be watching from home in my comfy couch, healing up <laughs> and getting ready to come back and that's hopefully make an appearance on 14 or 15. That's but right. Until the doctors clear me, I'm still on the couch and still watching from ringside. <laughs> Well, either way, you're more than welcome backstage, but 
We want to wish you a speedy recovery, and we certainly can't wait to see him in action at TakeOver Lucky 13. We're going to let you get back to your R&R, and thanks again for joining us. A round of applause for Rondy Merciless, please. And for my next guest, we have a former LPW Workhorse Champion uh, calling in, not, not only calling, but actually video calling. We sent out a crew with him so that he's able to, uh, can we get him through? It's, it's via Voom. <laughs> uh, let, let's go ahead and see if we can get him through satellite calling in. Uh, can you hear me? Tobias, hey, do we have video cover there? Ah, uh, 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 there we go. Hey, how are you? Oh, I'm doing pretty well. I'm just ready to get what's rightfully mine. You feel me? Yes, I do. And we're glad to have you on tonight. We saw you last time win a triple threat qualifying match for the international championship on TakeOver. Shortly after winning that, you were greeted by the LPW international champion himself. What was going through your mind as that was occurring? Yeah, it was a very hard-fought matchup. I had smarted my opponents and I won. And then I was greeted by the so-called champion. Then the security guards broke up our fight. They were afraid of what I was going to do to Chris. I was going to end him right where he stood. But no matter, when our eventual matchup happens, I will walk out the champion. Strong words from the challengers and... Uh, oh, the god dang... Ch oh, we should get him back up, but the pro producers are telling me that if you can still hear me, that you, you have something that you want to tell the champion tonight. Uh, can we get him back up? Oh, there yeah, he is. Yeah, I have something to show you as well. You see the ambulance right behind me. Chris, I'm going to put you inside this ambulance after I beat you to a pulp. You're going to be so incapacitated that you're not even going to remember being thrown inside this ambulance. And after I win the title... I'll make sure to visit you in the hospital to make sure you're down and out and make sure you never walk again. Wow. Well, uh, that is what you call a grudge match, ladies and gentlemen. And you are not going to want to miss it. It's this Sunday, TakeOver 13. We'll see the LPW International Championship up for grabs as Chris Hudson defends against Tobias Gates this Sunday at TakeOver 13. And we'll go ahead and we'll leave that for Sunday for now. We're going to move on to my next guest, taking on another champion himself. It's a man who's made a name for himself throughout many of these WGPN companies. I want you all to put your hands together for Lucio Santos. It's great to finally have you on. How are you feeling tonight? Honestly, I'm doing great. I am having this opportunity to fight for this championship, and it is an honor to be fighting for a title as prestigious as something like this in LPW. Life is great right now. Yeah, life sure is great when you have championship gold on the horizon. What do you say to the critics who claim that the hot streak, King Spade, can't be stopped, and what you're doing is impossible a hot streak would be an understatement for him due to the fact that he's been on a roll and has been unbeatable since becoming workforce champion and has been a fighting champion and wanting all these matches now he's got one against one of the arguably top stars around these leagues right now i want to stay on this topic if you'll indulge me what are your thoughts on your opponents? Have you two actually met inside the square circle? For most of the people who don't know outside of the community, can you indulge them with this so question? My thoughts on this uh, opponent is with it being my little brother, we know each other very well. And we've met a couple times in other leagues. Yes, I came out on top. But he's always the one opponent that will always push me to my limits. <laughs> yes, uh, there it goes for many of our audience who wasn't aware of the relation. With that being said, will this be one of those matches where you both are pushed to your limits? Do you see yourself coming out victorious or do you see him? Of course, we're both going to be pushed to our limits. For one, there's gold on the line. Two, he's going to be wanting to defend his title and keep his title too, to the fact that he's a fighting champion and he is on a streak right now. He's on a roll. Uh, 
and I'm looking to be the one to stop it. But who says I'm going to be the one to be able to stop him and the dominance he has been on? But yeah, the limits will be pushed, and there might be an ambulance that needs to be called. And we'll certainly have one at sideline, but... You know, he, you're right about one thing. He has been on a roll, and not only with gold on the line, because for those of you who don't know, if King Spade wins this next match, he will be, in fact, within his right to invoke the Workhorse Clause, which means he can go for the championship of his choosing. And how, how does it feel, you know, being the last one in the way of your brother's journey of getting this done? Journey and legacies is what I do and handle this. Put it this way. The journey ends at TakeOver. And I will be walking out with that title. Brother, I hate to say that. But we all know when it comes to these kind of matches, it's where I thrive. Where I'm the underdog, I take charge and dominate. Fades. It ends for you at TakeOver. Again, Lucio, I want to thank you for joining us. Best of luck on this huge pay-per-view. We're excited to see who comes on top again this weekend on TakeOver 13. Appreciate you having me on here. I will show you why at TakeOver, why signing me was one of your best things you ever done for LPW. I'm sure you will. And once again, round of applause for Lucio Santos, everyone. <laughs> but now, folks, it's about that time where I bring out the man of the hour. He's a face that's known throughout several promotions that's carried multiple championships. Now he carries, ladies and gentlemen, your LPW champion, KJ. Thanks for being with us tonight. How are you? Of course, of course, I'm happy to be here on this video call, you know, even though I'm on vacation, the champ doing <laughs> vacation things, you know, just celebrating my 300 plus day reign as champion. Congratulations. Well. well deserved. Yeah, well, thank you for having me here on this video call. Once again, thanks for taking time out of your busy schedule. We've spoken to several challengers tonight who all share the same result to their matches. How do you feel as a champion coming into this match? This man, this, this guy, are you with the jokes? Come on now, come on, let's ask some real questions. How do I feel coming into this match? I feel superior heading into the match, like I always do. I don't normally lose, so I feel very confident, especially that I'm fighting three other losers. So, can can we ask some better questions here? You know, you, you got me on this video call, and I respect you. You are like a brother to me. You are a very good owner. I'm an LPW for one reason and one reason only, and that's to promote me myself and to carry this company on my back so i will not be disrespected with the stupid questions my apologies my apologies um you, you're right as far as this goes uh, i should have came back with better ones but the fans are definitely excited history in the making this being your first ever multi-man title defense nlpw what can you expect or what can the fans expect th this coming in yes the fans should be lucky and the fans should be thanking me and saying thank you thank KJ, you once again yes this isn't the first time i've been saying that i need to be appreciated for everything that i have done for these four years you're so right appreciate that i'm willing to defend my title against multiple losers on this yes. lpw brand You're and i'm not doing one. it for them i want to make that very clear i want to make that very very clear after i'm done defending this title you probably won't see me for another three months i mean i do whatever i want to do i show up whenever the hell i want to show up so that's up to me and what i want to do with my lpw undisputed championship the most prestigious title in all of professional wrestling like i said as a matter of fact the most prestigious title in all of the pwgp ah please don't bring up that dog shit of a company again they nearly got us canceled last time we did this and we certainly are grateful to have the superior legend here in lpw and i want to apologize for those lackluster cliche questions my superior one i want to thank you for joining us tonight and best of luck on your match for sunday night is there anything else you want to let the lpw world know before you defend that lpw takeover lucky 13 of course, thank you for having me, Lupo. And there is one more thing I would like to let everybody know. You know, 
I've been seeing the rumors online and I've been seeing social media as of late and everyone's been thinking that I'm not loyal to LPW. Well, I'm here to tell you I'm loyal to LPW. I've always been loyal to LPW. Just because I don't show up every week like you losers doesn't mean that I'm not Team LPW. You know, I am where the money goes and the money is here. And I'm getting paid the big bucks. Something you broke bitches cannot be paid. And trust me, after the pay-per-view, I will walk out your LPW Undisputed Champion. But not only that, I will solidify myself. As the greatest wrestler of all time when I am done with my career. And you can bet on that. Not CD, not Beast Bennett, not anyone can touch me. Not anyone can do what I do in this business. I will forever be the superior champion. Whether I'm here active or whether I'm gone, whether I'm dead, I will always be superior. And you've heard it here, folks. We want to thank you all for being part of our LPW Flashpoint. We'll see you all Sunday night at TakeOver Lucky 13.